Jumbe uandhi ito ya Kenya, William Samuel Ruto kwe mudhenyani wa umundi wa county ni ya ilobi, county namba miongwe na namuonza. Nwa wiki ya kudhu andali gandini wa hoteli wa safari park, pala wiki ya kudhu andali gandini wa na alama wiki ya kudhu wa maitu wa isi ya utandi ya wiki ya vadokanyo. Wiki ya kudhu andasi ya unena niandini wa ile mbeta ya Afrika, ni kindu kimo kila kito nyo wiki ya kudhu wa kiyete nguwa tanyo, kila kito nyo wiki ya kudhu wa kiyete udhukumi na andu ainge, alama tonya kuhidhi andini wa andi siki vadu kwa mayeji umilia ni kwezi wa mawala nyo ni maile ito wabikia kwezi wa mayeji wani kenda alame kuenda kuhivya ndini wa ndi ito ya Kenya mabikia kwezi wa mea dhosie na ndi ingi siye lembe tani ya Afrika ni siye ito wabikia kwezi wa ise obyo metalatla mia ilu maa kwa ndo maa kuhivya ndini wa ndi isu siyo na kukili okwati nundu ilame wabikia kwezi wa maiku wata ando ingi mayeji ndi siyo ni uwe okwati wa ndi wabikia kwezi wa uyambata ni kwezi wa ndi vya koti na ya koti ni wabikia kwezi wa ndi ando maibikia kwezi wa maiku wata kwa ndi elaya ilete ndula wa dhudia ando mabiki ya kwezi wa ndi maitu wa isi ya unena niya wa kwa ila direct public and private investments towards competitive efficiencies increasing employment creating wealth and making sure that we are less vulnerable as a continent a major enabler of continental economic takeoff requiring considerable investment is infrastructure low infrastructure connectivity is a serious impediment of our ambition to realize africa's full trade and economic growth potential consequently this dialogue provides the perfect occasion to align government and private sector complementarity with the colossal demand for port rail road and air transport power and energy as well as information communication and technology infrastructure here is the opportunity in more detail with appropriate levels of connectivity africa's digital economy is projected at us dollars 180 billion by 2025 or 5.2% of the continent's GDP. That's just technology. And US dollars 720 billion by 2050, or 8.5% of African GDP. And here is the infrastructure demand in context. Lack of efficient transport networks increases the price of goods traded among African countries by between 30 and 40% rendering Africa effectively uncompetitive and eliminating the opportunity for us to trade merely because of logistics. You've heard from my Minister for Trade that tea, which was supposed to take three weeks or less to get to Ghana, took three months because it didn't go to Ghana. It went the opposite direction first because of transport logistics. Bearing in mind that 16 African countries are landlocked, underdeveloped transport connectivity hampers intra-Africa trade and drives up the cost of imports and exports with regard to other parts of the world. To further illustrate this point, I remind you of the confinement, which I just said, of value-added Kenyan tea destined for Ghana, which left and I was there with Wamkele, which left Nairobi on the 5th of October, but it got to the port of Tema in February, the next year. The current level of lack of connectivity is a great impediment to our progress as a, as a continent, and therefore, the Agenda 2063, which speaks with clarity on what type of infrastructure that we need to be able to connect our countries, eliminate the barriers that um, are erected by our boundaries, and human capital and, hu and human beings who hamper trade. These are unnecessary impediments to trade and investment in our region. 
The current level of technology in the fields of infrastructure development across sectors is fairly high. This dialogue is a golden opportunity for African private sector and African governments to deploy the concept of technology, leapfrogging, thereby ensuring that advanced technologies are incorporated into priority infrastructure investments. Similarly, the implementation of the single African air transport market must be attended to in this dialogue with particular urgency. Already there is a conversation between Kenya, Eritrea, Ethiopia, uh, uh, Rwanda, Uganda, on how we can consolidate our air transport and have a regional airline that can move people, that can move goods, that can move services across our region without the current unnecessary impediments caused by air transport fragmentation. Similarly, the implementation of um, This will define the opportunities for private sector to invest in a liberalized air transport sector and enhance our air traffic penetration from the current 14.5%. African integration will also benefit significantly from this endeavor. The overarching methodology of the Africa we want is to transcend all the shortcomings, gaps, and vulnerabilities currently impeding Africa's progress and potential by redefining them as transformational opportunities for private-public collaboration. Public-private partnerships have the potential to augment the program for infrastructure development, as well as the African Development Bank's initiative to facilitate projects aimed at bridging the continent's infrastructure gap to sustainably support connectivity. I will give you an example. We are using, we're now diversifying on how to transport energy. We do not have to invest as government on transmission.